like to start off by washing the meat. It came from the freezer, so it looks a little bit hard, but it's ready. And I just removed the excess water. I arranged them to be seasoned, and I start off by seasoning it with salt. So I make sure that all the sides are seasoned. And some pepper. Turning sides. I also like to put a generous amount of garlic powder and I like to leave it on room temperature for like 10 to 30 minutes. I usually soak my rice overnight but last night I forgot. Did you know that you should soak your rice for at least 8 hours before cooking them? Soaking the rice reduces the arsenic that coats the rice has tons of health benefits, rice becomes more digestible, and it just tastes so much better. Now, I am going to show you some infographics on how to reduce arsenic in rice and why you should do it. I am going to use our instant pot to pressure cook the meat because that's what we're gonna do first. I'm just gonna put the rack in. Usually I put water underneath, but this time I'm gonna use this organic bone broth. It's chicken, but for sure it's gonna give some flavor to my meat. It's just that I have tons of them and you know, I'm Filipino. I don't waste stuff. I make use of whatever I have, right? <laughs> Then I put my meat in. I press pressure cook on high and then start. going to make our sauce. What I really like about cooking is that you literally do not need to measure anything. Just put whatever your heart tells you to put and well, it works. <laughs> I've also been pescatarian for more than two months now. I only eat seafoods, vegetables, and that's it. So I don't really taste whatever I serve my husband. And so far, he never complained. A chef once told me that the best way to see if what you're cooking is good is by smelling it. And that's what I have been doing. <laughs> We are going to check our meat so if they look like they're falling off from their bones then they're perfect the final step is to broil the meat so I take the tray and put aluminum foil on it I prepare my sauce and take the meat out from the pressure cooker and dip it in the sauce like so I usually broil it for 10 to 15 minutes or until it starts to brown. 